you. Um, so first we're gonna just talk about, um, I, I like talking about the big, big things first, then I get into the little things, okay? I, I don't wanna overwhelm you with a bunch of stuff. But um, the big things on a single leg. We're starting on a single leg. We can talk about entries after. Um, but, you know, there's this, right? Typically it's like you pinch your knees, you grab the leg, you hug the leg, right? And then you like hump his leg <laughs> until he goes down. And when you hump it enough, he falls down. It doesn't work that way. Okay. So if I'm here, right, uh, this, does anybody walk like this? No. no. Can oh you go God, fast go this way? <laughs> Is like going backwards like efficient? It's not, in my opinion, anyway. And this is the way I, I was taught it, you know. Um, so this is what I did. <laughs> um, so as I'm here, right, instead of pinching my knees, being square to him, if I'm set up against somebody and I'm square to you uh, and my knees are here, just like take your finger and push it in my chest, right? I'm not in a great position to withstand any force vector that's coming at me. Okay, so what if I was like this? I just resist my, my pushing. I feel like I can continue to run him over. Here, I don't feel like I can continue to run him over. Just like put your hands on my shoulders. He's pushing me, I have him in a single leg. That's not the way it works. That makes sense? Okay. So, I'm going to take my knee, I'm gonna get underneath that fulcrum of the knee, and I'm gonna pull this leg back at the end of the lever. All right, Scott's already feeling some pressure. How do you feel now? Get your base, get, like, get your best possible base. Yeah, you feel okay? Mm. Okay, what about now? No. Okay, so now I have like control of the fulcrum of the leg. I have the end of the lever, and now I'm gonna get the fulcrum of the hip. I, I'm using no hands. It's not like, oh, magic, and I wouldn't do this for real like that. But my point is, there's almost nothing happening with my hands. It's all happening with the position of my body in relation to his body. So if I'm here, right, and uh, stand up, give me a little bit of resistance, right? I'm putting an inordinate amount of pressure on him. I'm talking to you guys normally. I'm not squeezing. It's all my body weight. Make sense? It feels 100% defensive, like I have no counters to give you. Yeah, at all. Is, it, is it light or heavy? It's super heavy. Yeah. And I do something like this. So I'm going, I'm taking this hand that's on the inside of this leg here. Um, I'm going over and grabbing my wrist. And the problem with that is there's exposure now to my wrist, okay? And then he can go for things like kimuras, you know, judo throws, head and arms, different things like that where, eh. Or he could just separate the damn thing, right? So if I'm here like this, right, he, he, he's able to control that wrist and eventually kick his leg to the floor all right, now he separates my grip, and I gotta fight for that again. And again, I'm using more energy than I need to. So one way to kind of protect that um, is just you take your bottom arm, so the one that's around the outside of the leg, inside the leg, outside the leg. I just kind of get as high as I want, pretty much as high as I can without compromising my position, and I grab just like right around the form. So now there is no wrist. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So now I'm here, okay? Um, you'll notice I'm not driving Scott here. Scott is feeling a lot of pressure on his hip and on his leg that he's going straight down. Um, or I am then manipulating his weight to where his leg is not. This is where his leg is. If I keep whipping him around, oh, like let's say Gus, uh, stay up, hop with me. We go like ring around the rosy. Okay, so if I'm here, uh, Scott would actually probably prefer to go that side. I actually am gonna sit him down, like right where his butt is, right? Where his butt bone is, I'm gonna sit him down this way. I'm getting him to almost fold in the direction. And like worst case scenario, oh, I'm in half guard, oh no. Right? Um, so from like jujitsu perspective, fight perspective, 
this is ideal. And I never feel like I'm slamming my knee on the ground. Um, you know, I'm old now, so I need to <laughs> be as efficient as possible. Uh, so, and that just goes for all of us, right? No matter what our age, like, the easier we can make it on ourselves, the more energy I have to do other things. Are you being proactive when you're getting ready to actually take down? Or are you looking for something specific for them to do? So on the feet, like when we're uh, trying to connect? Like, yeah, like right when you're trying to play? Yeah, uh, great question. It depends, it depends. We will definitely address okay. that. Um, but I just want to add it in, I just want to add in the, the grip and this uh, idea of finishing. Does that make sense? So like, again, if there's, if we like approach the base, like there's a, a table, right? That, that's the easiest analogy. Um, I, I need to be able to take one of those legs away. And the, but they're not done yet either because we've seen tables stay up like this, right? This thing leg. But what happens if it gets pushed over to that side, that precise side and angle? It falls, right? So um, th that's kind of what we're trying to do is like, Weaken the thing, weaken the structure, and then like push it over. Push it over that side that's weak or that's taken away. So again, um, so as I clinch, I'm going outside arm, grabbing the wrist and forearm, and then I'm just like sitting, I'm, the, my pressure is led by the shoulder and I put all my weight behind it. That make sense? Cool, let's do it. 